Hi, you guys. <laughs> I'm excited today, y'all. Like, a bitch is excited. And I don't know why I'm so excited. Maybe it's because I'm thinking of ideas for my YouTube channel. And usually, I don't, like, have ideas basically drive with me or like vlogging and things like that so this is gonna be something different this is gonna be my feminine hygiene routine plus tips to let you guys know because i think every girl should feel beautiful and smell good and you know look good so you have a lot of confidence about themselves so i'm gonna be doing a video for you guys uh, i'm about to go to the store right now and get a couple of things for my mom so whenever i get back i will take you guys with me but it's not a vlog it's just a feminine hygiene routine i'm just this right here is just the intro i'm showing you guys or whatever so yeah anyways like comment subscribe bitch oh my god like comment subscribe and if you want to see my feminine hygiene routine then keep watching <laughs> my type he from the mud and he really be trapping you the wet i could really be bragging so the sheets you can only imagine she and me you can keep the comparison wearing fake shit oh you embarrassed that a bitch only fuck with the baller my hair is like as long as hair just over y'all <laughs> Oh lord, it's the people that don't want to be back here. Whatever. Alright, ooh. <laughs> Hi everybody, so I already did the intro, whatever. So we're just going to get right into this video. Basically, what I'm going to start off by telling you guys first is... Okay, no, neither do that. Alright, so how you guys? So I already did the guy... You, oh my god. Alright, so before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that your vagina is not going to smell like a flower or a rose or candy okay i'm just gonna let you guys know that now because if it do then it's something wrong because i everyone have a natural scent okay um so by that being said you might have like a small smell to your vagina and that's fine it's normal because you're you, you the smell in your vagina is supposed to be neutral like a little to no smell to it but, but you know it probably would have a smell not as really bad but you know i mean if you start to smell like a fishy smell or something like that, then that's when you go to the doctor. But other than that, like, just let you guys know, bitch, your vagina is not going to smell like a rose or a flower and woo, 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 woo. Okay? Okay. People, gr gr females, they actually grow, go through things. And females go through a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. And vagina is very, 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 very sensitive. Like, this is like, it's so sensitive like you just can't use a lot of things down there and all that but we're gonna get to we're gonna get into that when we get to that all right so just let you guys know and another thing what i use on my cook my cookie does not you know probably would not work for you okay but this i'm telling you guys it works for me okay what makes my vagina smell good so yeah let's get into this video <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna start with the body washes, the body wash that I use. I use the Caress Sheer Butter and Brown Sugar. Um, it's in the like exfoliator. I use this and it makes my skin smell so good. And it's just like a, it can be like a sugar scrub also cause it's that exfoliating. Cause it got like the seeds and stuff in it to, you know, exfoliate with. So I recommend getting some of that. And I have another Caress, it's called Orange Blossom. Uh, they're really really good also both of those are good and we're we'll gonna go to the dove so i have two doves i don't really i don't mix these um these uh body washes together i use probably like this one day this the next day that the next day that the next day i don't use it like all on my body at once you know what i'm saying i don't do that i just pick what fragrance i want to smell like smell like and i just what fragrance that i use but majority of the time i really use this right here it's called dove glowing mango butter and omelet butter moisturized for radiant skin i use it and it makes my skin smell so freaking good bro so good like this is literally like my favorite dove so what dove body wash for my body and i like this smell also this one almost gone but i like this smell also but it's not as best as this this right here y'all like it makes me smell so good these the, these body washes it's not to be down to use down there i'm pretty sure you guys already motherfucking know that don't put no scented thing no scented soap no scented perfume no scented lotion no scented nothing because if you put just because this right here smells like orange blossom and this right here smells like a um a mango butter and 
almond butter don't mean when you put it down there it's gonna make your vagina smell like that it's not about it. it's just gonna mess it completely up so do not put these body washes in your vagina okay you use it for your body okay and don't let it get in your cooch okay okay just clear it up i'm pretty sure you guys know that but some people don't know that so just put it out there now we're going to actually go into like what actually can go in your vagina now a lot of people be saying um don't use any soap down there it cleans itself just use water okay i'm not gonna just use water i have to use the soap down there okay i use dove soap dove is the only thing that i use in my vagina area that's it okay that is it that is all anyway like i said everyone has their own look routine for how they clean their vagina just showing you guys how i clean mine and how i stay fresh all day and also i take three showers a day literally especially now because it's hot outside i be sweating i'll be like mm -mm. i need to go get refreshing up again take a whole another shower bitch like mm -mm. cannot now in the winter time i'll take two but it's summertime baby i gotta i gotta stay refreshed and stay clean bitch mm -mm. but anyway let's get into what you can actually use inside of your vagina um, I use Dove Sensitive Skin. This is what I use inside of my vajayjay, my cookie. Uh, and it makes my vagina smells lovely. This right here is good for the vagina, make your vagina smell good. Like, when I say smell good, I mean like no scent, really, or whatever. So yes, if you guys um, wanna actually like use a soap, use Dove, okay? Duh, duh, duh. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I forgot to add something. So this is another body wash that I use also. Um, like it's uh find your happy place, lazy weekend, bath and shower gel. And it's like glittery, like in the inside, make your skin glow. So this is really good. See, I will do like this and this together. I will combine these together now, okay? So yeah, I just wanna show you guys this too. And I got this from Walmart, so go get it if you like. Make your skin set. It's just like a lovely smell. Like, just it's just it's just a lovely smell. <laughs> All right, so let's get into like the pH balances and things like that. Okay, so I don't have any more um, vinegar, so I'm gonna show a picture of what vinegar you guys can get to reboost your pH balance. It make sure it says with the mother, okay? Um, because it's different types of vinegar, so get the one that says with the mother. I don't have any more as of right now, and I didn't go and get any, so um, yeah. But with the um, the vinegar, you, you run you some water and you put two cups of vinegar inside of the water to reboost your pH balance. Like, say, that you have like uh, a bacteria vaginosis or whatever, however you say, yeah, I think I said it right. Or you have UTI and things like that it actually like helps in yeast infections also that like the vinegar is not gonna make you smell like vinegar okay it's not gonna make you other to smell like it okay it's just gonna like literally like it's just really good to use when you have those you know symptoms and things going on in that area so I really recommend you doing that whenever you have yeast infections or um, bacteria vaginosis UTI all of that stuff I really recommend you running some water and like actually sitting in it with two cups of vinegar and I promise you just you know you you will see results I promise okay but I don't have any so I just showed you guys the picture or whatever all right so let's move to the next thing so when you decide to shave I really recommend you guys using men's razors okay because men's razors they actually like work faster like in it's quicker when you use a man a man razor so when you shave don't really just, i mean isn't it the wrong with getting women razors because they work also if you get like the more expensive one but like i just a lot of women you know they really recommend just using the man razor okay so yes when you shave use the man razor and i like a lot of people like to use like some moisturizer down there whenever they finish using the um you know whenever they finish shaving so if you want to moisturize just use some coconut oil guys um or whatever to put down there to have it like moisturized and you know really need to get some um 
bikini area stuff. I think it's like it's like some bikini area stuff that you can like literally put down there and then shag so you can prevent like ingrown hairs and all that stuff and dog marks. I really need to get some of this. So I'll probably go to Walgreens. Um I'll probably back out and get oh can't even stop. Probably back out and go see if they have some in Walgreens that I could use because yeah, I do be having ingrown hairs. So I really need to stop being a bitch and go get a bazillion wax, but I still have it when it got it. So <laughs> anyways, we got to get that, 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 that figured out. Like I got to get rid of these ink ground hairs. It's not much, but you know, I still like see them. So like, I don't know, ma'am. I got to get that. I got to go today and see if I can find some. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move on to like, when you use the restroom, um, I use baby wipes. Okay. When you go to the bathroom and you do number one and number two, use, I really prefer you guys to use wipes, especially when you use boo one. Like, use wipes. Don't use toilet paper. Use some wipes. And when you wipe, make sure you wipe front to back. Okay? Front to back, not back to front. Because if you do back to front, you basically just dragging bacteria to your vagina and you don't want that at all. I remember one girl had said, oh, she was literally arguing with somebody in the classroom talking about some, um, you're supposed to wipe back to front. No, you supposed to wipe back to front. Uh, bitch, no, you wiping your shit wrong, girl. No, ma'am. I said, no, girl, you're supposed to do front to back. Front to back. So, all your life, you've been wiping your vagina wrong. Like, you can look it up. It's on Google. It will tell you. It will tell you. Front to back. Front to back, not back to front. Okay. <laughs> Literally, she was sitting there arguing with us, y'all. Like, I can't. Anyway, when you, whenever you use the bathroom, use some wipes. It will make you feel more refreshed and clean when you use a wipe. Okay. So, we're going to move to your diet. I mean, if you, um, you know, have a, like a healthy ass diet, like your vagina going to, your, it's gonna change your smell okay like you're gonna smell more fresh or if you like have a real healthy diet eat your fruit eat your vegetables eat all that good old stuff and i promise you will see a change i stop eating all the fast food restaurants and things like that and if you like eat like at least eat a salad girl eat a salad or something eat a salad and eat you some fruit i mean nothing wrong with eating salad and fruit it's good for you it's good for you, you gotta keep eating fast food restaurant every damn day you know what I'm saying? All this fried food, you ain't gonna see no results. So, healthy diet, healthy diet, okay? <laughs> all right, so when I get out the shower or whatever, I will like, yes, another thing, when, I, when I'm in the shower, I use a towel, okay? Do I need to show you guys a towel? I'm pretty sure you know what a towel looks like, but I use a towel. I don't use anything else to wash my body, but I don't use those little, the little fluffy things. No, because they don't clean me, no. I need like a literally a towel to like scrub a bitch. Or I can use like one of those the little the little scrubber things, the foliar thing, and wipe bitch. Like I gotta get everything off. But anyway, when I do get out the shower, I like to use the Jergens Natural Glow. Um they, it's a moisturizer for your whole body and it makes your body uh glow. Like it's good for you. Jergens good for you anyways. Everybody know that Jergens is the best to get you know for your to moisturize your body with so this is how it looks you guys i think it was like i would say four to five dollars at dollar journal and yeah this is basically what i've been using lately and it actually has been working good on my feet <laughs> my feet has been some change when i ever since every time i got the shower i use this and it works so good with my feet <laughs> my feet, bitch. Let me tell y'all. The bottom of my feet used to be so crusty, bitch. I, like in a bed, it'd be literally tearing the damn bed up, tearing the cover up because it'd be so damn crusty. I was like, mm, I gotta do something about this. I cannot, and I don't get pedicures or whatever when I go like to next one. I think when I get to next one is I get my nails done, and that's it. I don't get any pedicures, anything like that. Maddie, Patty, whatever, 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 whatever. I don't get it. So, get some of that for your body and you're gonna feel so good, soft, and clean when you go to the shower. Well, you can really use any jerking product, really. It makes you feel good. <laughs> so next, whatever the odor that works for you, 
the degree dry protection shower clean this deodorant actually works for me and makes me smell all fresh and clean so whatever deodorant works for you it works for you but this is just what works for under my arm to make under my arm smell good and clean okay <laughs> and perfume you can use whatever perfume that makes you smell lovely this is just some pure sedation that i like to use and it makes me smell good i'm almost out bitch i gotta go get some more anyways i use that also right after the shower i like to put on the odor and perfume and lotion some people when they get the shower they just get in the bed i mean that's how i used to be but now i get to the point where i like to actually like when i get in the bed i want to actually smell myself i mean but you can smell like the the bath the bath stuff or whatever but the perfume and all that good stuff i like to do all of that it just makes me feel like a like i'm doing like a pamper routine oh uh, yeah and the pamper routine i will be doing one of those videos for you guys very very soon if you guys like to see it i will be doing it for you guys <laughs> uh what else oh yeah another thing last thing cranberry urinary tract infection help stop 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 stop, stop. these gummies I recommend these and Azop. I'm sure you guys the Azop is up there. Anyways, the Azop will work or whatever for your urinary tract infection. And these are just gummies. The gummies are nasty though, y'all. Like when I take these things, I gotta hold my nose. And matter, matter of fact, I'm gonna take one now because I haven't took one today. I'm sure you got what I actually like literally do. But well, I gotta go get some water. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Meet sure y'all. What I actually do. Okay. Get me some water. Drink lots of water, bitch. I promise you, if you drink lots of water, bro, I'm telling you, it, that's a change too. And you guys know, and you guys heard this a million times. Drink water, drink water, drink water, drink water, drink water. And you, you gotta drink water. So say you make your body stay hydrated, clean, fresh, and it just, it's just a boost. I promise, it's a boost. Like in the more time, more time water is what everybody be drinking so why, why not drink it two hours a day because it, it makes me have a boost when you wake up in the morning down it makes you get up out the bed when you drink this water down it yes drink water especially for well, me and too everybody drink water it's good for y'all promise i promise when you go to the doctor and look i'm gonna tell y'all guys i'm gonna tell you guys a story like uh y'all might not want to hear but i had him lose before like and then like when i was in school the teacher was like if i tell everybody you got hemorrhoids i mean like i got literally hemorrhoids i do because i used to eat hot chips every single day so i had freaking hemorrhoids and the doctor told me drink water this is all she told me to do drink lots of water lots just drinking water just flush out your body i guess so drink water y'all anyway let's take this 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 gummy this nasty ass gummy <sighs> are so nasty but it's good for you anyway i put when i chew i hold my nose so i don't taste it and i push down with the water okay and it is making so much so much better bro like oh, so much better but anyways y'all that is the end of this this video basically what i do or whatever to stay clean and stay fresh all day yes yes ma'am i hope you guys like this video my next video is gonna be coming up really really soon i gotta edit this video and post this i don't know if this is gonna get posted today or tomorrow if it get posted tomorrow it's gonna be early tomorrow and i edit it throughout the night that's usually what i do y'all i like it if i do a video one day i edit throughout the um 
I edited it throughout the night and post like the next day, basically. So yeah, but anyway, that is a bitch. I look fat. Ooh. Yo, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Um, I literally hit 600 subscribers. Like, <laughs> it's just a little pet on the back. Nothing too major. When I hit 1K, bitch. Bitch, who? Woo! Bitch, I might have a photo shoot. Just get 1K subscribers. Bitch, when you get, like, if you get on YouTube, if you get, like, 100K or something, you do a photo shoot. But, bitch, when I get 1K, bitch, I'm doing a photo shoot, bitch. <laughs> Stay tuned for that motherfucker, that video, y'all. Anyways, I'm out, y'all. See you guys in my next video. I love you guys. And... Have a blessed day. <laughs>